17th, 2022. Um, they're talking about the, there's two things uh, today on this with this at Pop Secret. Um, they've got the St. Patty's Day Parade. Um, apparently Governor Hochul was there and Letitia James were there marching together in this infiltrate problem of I can't verify the basketball. Um, then they get into a large black SUV after only walking eight blocks for Brady Bunch. Zodiac and sundials moved. Bigger problems on the horizon. And then all of a sudden, but they had more access to the New York City mayor because he's the one telling everybody to shoot themselves for bioengineered ter terrorism in some staged coup. Canceled when the city locked down. This was Fifth Avenue in the spring of 2020. The streets practically deserted after businesses and office towers shut their this doors. This is 2022 years ago. Last time and Fleet was remote. here. The 2022 parade was long on nostalgia, but far shorter on spectators. It will always be a must-attend event for politicians. Politicians must attend. Gee, I wonder why I was working the war room at home in Linda's bedroom. Although Governor Kathy Hochul marched with State Attorney General Letitia James behind a security detail who cleared the route like linebackers. Governor, Ms. James, Channel 7. Keeping them far away from reporters with microphones. Minutes later, the governor would be hustled into a waiting SUV after Mark. Hustle. Hmm. That used to be a dance. Dance card all filled up, I see. Marching for just eight blocks. Mayor Adams was somewhat more accessible. What's up, Jay? Good to see you, sir. Yes. The, the parade is back, Mayor. What does it mean to the city? Uh, no, it means, a, it means a lot. This is this is like a... Protecting his proliferation, gang. It might be as a moment when he hit the home run in the New York Mets. We will keep rising, open our city, and move forward. I have no idea what that means. I did see some guy by the name of George Clinton, by the way, in some wannabe movement where he's getting some proclamation and something for his music about turn the woman out in intelligence communities and the fighting Irish that may or may not know what's going on at basketball season. I don't know who follows my feed on Facebook as I try to document the amount of terrorism that I've been forced to endure in this area that's under siege by multiple nations. Um, there was a fire in Flushing, Queens today, and then there's someone that goes to something called a Ward Melville. I, back a few months ago, used the form ribosomes and Golgi apparatus referring to my children and their appearance in this disgusting broken matrix. I see someone just won on Long Island at cyberstalking. She named it ribosomes. She's not my countryman. The building department now investigating. And now to a high school student from Long Island who won one of the top prizes in a prestigious national science contest. Amber Love, Stony Brook, finished third in the National Regeneron Science Contest. And as a result... I've never even heard of Regeneron. I've never even heard of these contests. My children have not had the same opportunity. My children have not been even given a glance at in order to get to this level and speak at this level. Not about their lives, not about my lives, not about where we are in space and time and deep space, and what Top Secret is doing with my Pop Secret. Won a $150,000 prize, and her research could someday lead to the treatment of many diseases. I would... 
So she'll cause the disease first, and then she'll cure the disease. That's interesting. Witness News reporter Stacy Sager with more on this amazing young scientist. From Lord Melville High School in East Seductive, New York, Amber Lewis. Now, is that, what basketball is that? Is that an Afghanistan league or is that India? I'm just curious because today is the Fighting 69th and the Irish, Fighting Irish. And they have some parenting issues with some of the siblings and custodial, whatever, degrades. The only one from New York in the Regeneron Top 10, and to meet Amber Law is to take in her joy. And she calls herself Law by sound, even though it's spelled L-U-O. Well, isn't that just interesting? She took third this week at the prestigious Regeneron Science Talent Search in Washington, and the 18-year-old from Stony Brook, who happens to be brilliant, is also entirely human. Really? Because um, other people that look Irish, like myself, um, we've been drugged, called paranoid, called schizophrenic, bipolar, a whole lot of things, by things that look like her that make a lot of money on shooting people with bioengineered products. And yet she gets honored as brilliant and with showered with money gifts and yet I get shoved in a jail cell for hours. I get shot up. I go on an airplane. I get pricked. I go into a bar. I get pricked. I get dragged out. Hours of interrogation. Then I can't fucking remember a goddamn thing. Yeah, I'm not really seeing humans where there's a point for any of you to exist. Really human. Because all of us were like internally screaming, but like outwards we were like, is this actually happening? Like, Amber know, like, is a senior here at Ward Melville, awarded $150,000 from Regeneron because she developed a software. She developed a software, ribo based. Wow, really, Bayside. That's where I'm being held. That is really interesting. I'm in Bayside. And I have ribosomes out of my Golgi apparatus, which is what I call my body, for my immaculate journey that has gone horrifically wrong in deep space. And this kid takes my postings, programs it into some algorithm software with some help of some, like, really maniacal group elsewhere. And now all of a sudden she's a fucking brilliant genius, really? How does that work in humans? Just curious. Software she calls ribobase. It looks at large volumes of sequencing data and it identifies like these very important sites within the human genome called ribosome pause sites. It's yeah. mind blowing work, but she's get ribosome pause sites. Really, I don't even have the vocabulary she's walk working off of in vernacular in the exact same thing, working off of my statistical, analytical, and empirical data. Just saying. Again, I don't have access to the same amount of anything that this kid's working off of. And it's my effing stats. Got it. So I created the whole algorithm and all of the models that go with it. <laughs> Her advisor here at school also... That's a lie because she came after I did in timing sequence, which means she's using somebody else's discovered algorithm in order to program in to put boost herself and her stats. Also beaming with pride. It is really like her sport, which is really, and, and she practices and she refines and she makes sure that whatever she does, she doesn't leave anything on the field. In case you don't yet understand the scientific significance here. It can pinpoint for researchers like, oh, it's this pathway that is perturbed in cancers. Or like, it's this protein that may be very important towards this cancer progression. She speaks CDC level intelligence because somebody has informed her and taught her how. My children and I have not gotten CDC level intelligence training. For some reason, they're overlooking the actual statistical data points, forcing me into a meta realm, and then stealing the actual facts and using it in some other broken galactic form. 
Amber telling us she's already accepted to... And all this is is just proof after the fact. ...to both Harvard and MIT. She loves both math and science, but as for this whirlwind... Best week of my life, maybe. Like, it was just, like, the energy. There's 40 finalists. There's no parents around. We're all, like, crazy teenagers who love science. And so, like, you put us all in a room. Like, what do you think is going to happen? Like, Well, amazing thing. You know, Alexander likes science, too, as do I. Except I wasn't invited to Washington. I wasn't invited to a special science program. Wasn't invited to any of these things. But I do see who is inside the United States of America after the break-in to the White House. And who they're investing in for the future.